Okay, I did the first box upside down, so we're not off to a very good start. Yana, I just got a fresh wax today, so you already know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, you wanna come have a good time? We're gonna pop bottles, it's gonna be rich niggas. That's me, back in 1999. If I get enough drinks, I can get sturdy in the club. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Cooking at the end of a long day can be a challenge for me. There's so much that goes into it from grocery shopping to prepping and then actually making the meal. And that's why I love that HelloFresh does all the work for me by conveniently delivering everything straight to my door and saving me a trip to the grocery store. Plus it's less expensive and 25% less expensive than takeout. And if you're a busy mama like me, they got you covered with quick and easy recipes on the HelloFresh menu, including fast and fresh options ready in 15 minutes or less. It's a great way to explore new food options and get out of that recipe recipe rut that we all tend to fall into after a while. Plus, it's summertime and I want to focus on the fun things, so I'm letting HelloFresh take care of the meal planning and prepping so that I can enjoy my summer. And you can too by going to HelloFresh.com and using the code McKenna16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Again, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use code McKenna16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Good morning! Welcome back to a vlog! We in the old car today. Oh, reliable. Okay. I'm only driving this car like up the street to go get my lashes done really fast. And then I'm going to come back in Uber because the tags are out in here. So, yeah. But anyways, welcome back to the vlog. We are on the way to get our lashes done. Big period. Because your girl has been a mess. Literally, if last week wasn't the most realistic week in my life, sick baby mama motherhood no nothing i don't know what is okay but the boys are i'm saying boys now because mellow he's getting better but he's not like 100 percent better to go back to school yet and then carson is not feeling good now so everybody's still home from school oh my God. but it's okay we're gonna make the best of it but i told their dad i need a day like i need a day to go take care of myself to get my lashes done to go get a wax i want to get a facial like i need a me day or at least a couple hours because i've been cooped up literally for like seven days in the house with them besides the couple days that we got out for memorial weekend but it's tuesday y'all basically sunday what we do oh i ended up going out on saturday night but i didn't really film because i couldn't really film in the clubs or the places that i was going to anyway so i was like might as well just save it but i ended up getting really really hungover on sunday and then going to a barbecue at my friend's house and then we hung out with Aaron's family yesterday for a little bit and then came home so yeah I, it was really a recovery weekend like ever since Saturday night like when I ended the last vlog I I've been out of there so <laughs> it's Tuesday the kids didn't have school Monday anyways hopefully they'll all be well rested and ready to go by next week I don't really know what's wrong with Carson though I'm just gonna have to probably have a doctor's appointment for him because he like is getting a fever and a headache, but he has no other symptoms. Like he doesn't have runny nose. He, doesn't, he just doesn't have anything else that you would think like with flu, like no sneezing, no coughing, no nothing. And this is not the first time that's happened to him. Like when we were in Florida, he kind of had something similar. And I don't know if it's like heat exhaustion, but I'm like, he really wasn't outside that much before he started having the fever and the headache. So I'm kind of like, I don't really know what's up with him. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just take him or do a virtual. Y'all not gonna be able to see me in here at all. Let me see what time it is. Okay, but basically, yeah, Carson not feeling very good. Mello is, his eyes are a lot better today, but he's still just not like 100%. So actually, I'm about to call the school really fast and just tell them like, hey, the boys are not gonna be in school today. Whatever they had is just kind of like passing around. So that's a horrible angle i apologize y'all but let me set y'all down anyways the plan for the day is because we don't got no plan for the week because i don't know what's going to go on like how long the kids are going to be home from school so today we're getting our lashes done since we missed our fill last week and then that's where we're at right now and then we're going to go get a facial and a wax from tole which is the girl who always does my waxes and then she also does facials and low-key when i was going to her to get my facials done my face was doing really good and i feel like whenever i go to like get like hydra facials and stuff like that i still always like break out or it doesn't do my skin as much justice so i like just going to tolay better she knows about black skin she's a black girl like it's just she be getting me right so i'm gonna start just going to her like once a month for a facial and a wax and then besides that we're gonna come home later 
I think Aaron and I are going to the movies because we've been trying to see Fast and Furious, but the kids have been home, so we haven't been able to go. So Aaron's brother said he would come over and watch the kids so we could go to the movies or something tonight. I do also want to go to Sephora if I have time. If not, I'm probably going to place a drive-up, not a drive-up order. But you know, Sephora does same-day delivery, and they're on Instacart, so period. Quick play with me. Also, I'll tell y'all later. I'm going to call the school and then go get my lashes done. How are you? Oh, okay. Uh, I was so gonna say. I think you probably got a text message. And then what else? I know you guys do what? Lip tinting and then micro blading? Yeah, so we, uh, right now we're just gonna take a pause on the permanent makeup. Okay. Um, we do uh, brow animation, brow tint, we also do brow waxy. Yeah. Or if you ever just kind of want to take a break from your lash extensions, we do lash lifts and lash tints. I don't know if my lashes are long enough for that. <laughs> Well, okay, yeah, I do need to get my eyebrows tinted soon, so. Yeah, and if you want your teeth, they're actually physical services, too. I might try to see if she has that available for my next appointment. I can do it at the same time, yeah. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Retention-wise, anyway. It's good thing I got my nails done since you're filming. I got clothes. Okay. Yes. Nice to meet you. Okay, my lashes are done. It's so dark in this car. I feel like y'all can't even see me, but it's cool. We finna go home and then hop in. Come on, the light's green, baby. Like I said, I just called my Uber to the house because I don't want to drive far with this car because the tags are out and baby, the way my driving record is, it's not squeaky clean, but I've never really gotten, I, why am I just dry line? I have gotten pulled over, but I've only gotten a ticket like twice in my life. One already came off my driving record because it was like when I first got my license. And I got pulled over in the same spot twice, y'all, which is why I never drive through my hometown or like where I graduated from high school from, because like, I swear the police just be so hot over there. But anyways, yeah, not today. So I'm gonna just gonna take it over. And that don't get me today, because the tags is real expired. This time last year expired, so. We might go look at a house today. I was talking to Chinsia, who's my realtor, and she found a house. I'm trying to like, listen, I told y'all I'm kind of like over it, so I'm just gonna like lace y'all up when everything is finalized, but we are still like looking and we're still actively like in the home buying process, so these roads are hella bumpy. So we might go look at a house today. I have to, I didn't even really check my phone when I got back in the car to see if she texted me back. No, nobody texted me back. Okay, so I told her I was busy this morning, but we could go like this afternoon or something to go look at the house. It's a little bit further out than we would like to be, but it is what it is. I tried to call the kids school too and they didn't answer, so I'm about to try to call them back. So I'll see you guys when I get to my wax slash facial appointment. I did put some numbing cream on before I'm going to get my wax, but the last time I got waxed, it really didn't even hurt at all. Like, I don't know what she did, but it really wasn't that bad. But I still put numbing cream on just in case. So yeah, I'll see you guys once we get there or in the Uber or whatever. Let me pull in the garage. I suck at working. Boom. baby near the school and then you're the little baby that's a big i'm like bro what time are you going oh, I, I'm huh? can you feel anything yeah you can't leave it on long enough oh. <laughs> and i didn't put enough on i usually be like lathering it up that one didn't hurt so bad i'm gonna use a gag cleanser today okay that's gonna be that's gonna be helpful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just need the steam to kind of open those pores so we can do what we had to do.
like so but oh you know her right dress yeah man. Jen I love Jen let's just do her facials <laughs> The nose just hurts. Take your bottle for me. Okay. I'm back. We're gonna sit outside. We got some Chick fil A on the way. Mommy! Let's put some eye drops in your eye. Mommy! 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 What's the problem? Okay, can we eat? Five rooms have attitude. Gonna go inside. I was trying to do a little outside eating, but the flies are so bad. You're not gonna worry about me. Oh look, he put my flowers in there. Every time I order food, then everybody can get up. I feel like I'm on summer vacation. A kid's home from school is given this time last year all over again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not bad. It was a little chaotic when I came in the house. We got Chick Fil A, Carter and Carson, of course, don't want to eat. They food. Mello's eating his macaroni though. He's looking. You look so much better. Look at you. Your eyes look so much better. He should be all right by the end of the day. I put a humidifier in his room, and that's the only thing we've changed since this whole thing started. So I don't know if that really helped clear it up or what, but I got a humidifier. I didn't. I don't think I showed it to y'all because I opened it yesterday and I wasn't vlogging. So I'll have to show it to y'all. It's very cute. I literally was like, okay, if I'm gonna invest in a humidifier, I want one that's aesthetic. So I got on TikTok and I was like, aesthetic humidifier. And I found one on Amazon by the Virtue brand. Yeah, it's very cute. So look, Aaron put my flowers in here for me. That was so sweet. I ended up eating their nuggets. Girls gotta eat. And then Aaron are gonna go to the movies tonight at like nine o'clock and see Fast and Furious. And then we're also gonna go look at a house probably like around 536. My realtor texted me this morning, another a new house just came on the market and it's very nice. It's like my aesthetic is like very much what I like. Only thing about it is the location is a little further than we wanna be, but the price ain't bad. We're just gonna go look at it, see what's up. I'm gonna probably take the kids. I'm sure Aaron will be working until we get ready to go to the movies. I'm gonna probably, you know, my car. I don't wanna drive. I just, I don't like driving myself in general. And then especially like, I don't wanna drive with the tags out and all the kids in the car. So I'm gonna probably ask Aaron's mom, maybe if she wants to come and look at the house with me and then we she can pick us up and we can all ride together. Or I'll just Uber and I'll take over there. So you want some lemonade? Here you go. Yeah, I'm gonna go change him. They all just really woke up from like another morning nap. Aaron said the baby just woke up. So I'm about to go change his diaper and then we'll probably just go hang out outside. They're watching a new Paw Patrol movie. I wanna jump on the trampoline and kinda just lay out and bask in the sun because I'm really tired, but they don't wanna take a nap right now. So I'm gonna have to wait on it. But I got a couple emails to reply to. But besides that, we just chilling. Hey. Trying to figure out what we're gonna do for Din Din. I'm thinking tacos. Sorry about these angles. I'm on my old camera right now. I'm gonna change your booty real fast. Since you was pooping. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like you gonna go to school and then Carter and Carson gonna be home sick. I feel like I can't tell if Carter got water in his eye or if he's also getting pink eye. Which I don't really know how he would have got it. Maybe just from being in his face. One of his eyes is red. And then Carson, I told y'all, he's not feeling very good. So, let's get the tomatoes. Why are my baby sick? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
did it. Y'all, I just split my toe, not my toe, but in between my toes open on a trampoline. <laughs> and I got it all gossed up. It was bleeding. Look, I'm so sad. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, anyways, I came back inside. I'm done with outside. Outside got me messed up today. I ain't even gone. I ain't gonna lie to you. And then I thought I was gonna come in here and pack. I don't know why I came in here. I really thought I was gonna talk to y'all, be productive. Didn't happen. It's not happening. I'm not gonna get nothing done until the kids come home. So I'm like, might as well just enjoy the time. It's a mess though. Ooh, what the hell? I have a lot of stuff I could be doing, but I'm like, might as well just chill. They're still all outside right there on the patio. So I guess I'm just gonna sit down. I I really picked y'all up because I was like, oh, let me go in this office. No, forget about it. I'm about to get on this couch. Enjoy my last couple weeks on this couch. I don't care what y'all talking about. Listen, I'm it's fence to get a I was supposed to go to a workout class on Monday, but I forgot Monday was a holiday. I'm gonna take a nap. I forgot Monday was Memorial Day and I didn't realize it was Monday. So I missed the class. I think it was a Pilates class. But I think I got a class tomorrow. Gotta check the schedule. My foot is throbbing. Oh my god. Ah! Didn't help. Look, it would have been so aesthetic if this Spider Man blanket. See? Look how much better that is. I wrapped it up with gauze and I tried to do it lightly so it wouldn't hurt. Well, this just took me out of hot girl summer for at least two to three weeks. It's like a huge gash. I've been wanting to watch Carisha, please, so I'm gonna put it out on because she dropped back to back episodes and I didn't get to watch them. I'm back alive. It's been a while. It's dinner time now. I'm about to make some ground beef with some taco seasoning so we can have white people taco night because that's all I have the energy to do. It's not even that I don't have the energy, it's just like, yeah, y'all are just, I love it. We just, we, everybody's just been all up under me all day. So I can't get anything done, nothing. I'm sitting over here like, I need to pack, I need to clean out the fridge. But I think everybody will be good to go to back to school tomorrow. Mello is way, way, way better. He woke up from his nap, nothing in his eyes. So I'm thinking it's the humidifier. I don't know, but he's even better now than he woke up from his last nap. So anyways, we're just gonna make ground beef. I did get this fun little thing. That's all this mom on TikTok do it with her kids. And mine is not as kiddish as hers. Cause you know, one thing about it, I'm a, it's gotta be aesthetic. It's gotta be aesthetic. I, I hate that, you know, for the fam, but it is. That's what I like. So basically, it's just like a lazy Susan, but she basically put like the ground beef in there. When with all the different taco things, if the kids could just build their own taco, basically, and you sit it on the table. So I just thought it was cool. I'll link it for y'all. Got it off Amazon. I'll link the one too that she had. It says like taco night on it. But I've been trying to cook this meat for forever, and they are still like whining at me to come back on the couch. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it real fast, and I'm gonna wash these wash these out i'm gonna turn on the oven to keep warm and then i'm gonna put some tortillas with some butter in there the ground beef will only take a second so oh my god should i look that up i just opened my oven and it made my eyes burn i feel like that's dangerous because it's gas you know what i'm saying i'm about to look it up I guess it was the um, the nitrogen oxide that came out. It burned my eyes. Wow. I've never had that happen to me before. That just scared me. I'm like, is the house going to blow up? I'm just going to heat them up in the microwave and with some butter. It'll be the same thing. But let's do it. We just make a ground beef. It's nothing spectacular. I think I want to get some AirPods. Everybody says their ass, like the AirPod Pro Max, whatever they are, like the headphones. But I think I want to get some. They're so cute. And I lost all my AirPods already. I just bought a new pair and they're already bought. Anyways, child, let's make tacos. Okay. Another thing, I was super excited about these reusable ice cubes, but they are low key ass. I feel like they didn't really make my drink cold. Like they're cold. But I just didn't feel like they made my drink super cold. I don't know. 
anyways but let me put y'all on if y'all watch like she only does like i think short form content but her name is like kaylee i believe she does like the very aesthetic cleaning asmr videos and she always starts her videos with like doing a drink and she had a poppy the raspberry rose and then she put raspberry syrup in there best drink of the summer it was so good i was like oh yeah i got a whole bag of poppies right here Y'all can't see, but... This is one of these days where I be needing headphones to cook because all the noise makes me literally so anxious. Saw. this is not the right bottle for it but if you put pine salt in a spray bottle and spray it around your backyard the flies will go away i tried it today and it actually works hack of the year because the flies are crazy out here so just thought i would give you that little tidbit i don't see any flies i can't understand you stop throwing my clothes off the couch I need to get some more microfiber towels. I forgot to order the little taco stands. Gotta put some butter in between. In between the layers. Tonight has been very chaotic. Can y'all tell the kids are whooping my ass? Because, baby, and I'm on my other camera and it's doing that thing with the black lines and I just, I, I'm just trying to push through. I wanted to pick y'all up because we're gonna go to the movies and I didn't want to come back with the awkward ass. Oh, yesterday and then I didn't know. We on our Zoom every day, we on our Zoom. No, I, that's why I really can't wait to move to my house, y'all. It's going to be so lit because it's going to be my house. And what I'm about to do is about to take my vlogging to the next level. Y'all about to see me. I could really do it here in a rental, but we're about to move anyway, so it's my... Anyways, 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 I'm not going to spill too much of my own tea, but... <laughs> Just know, the views, the vibes, the angles, it's all going to be litty. I'm laying my edges. I'm literally delusionally tired. I'm about to drink a Red Bull because I don't even know why we chose to go to a 9 o'clock movie. We were going to go at 6.30, but it was already booked. Oh, and you know if you go to the movies on a Tuesday, it's only $7.50. <laughs> I knew they do that at some movies, but I didn't know what day our movie theater that we go to 
does it and it turns out they do that on Tuesdays because we used to go to a studio movie girl and they had like five dollar movie day me and Aaron used to go because we just be at the movies a lot got me all right I'm gonna put on I don't even want to change can I wear my moo to the movies or is that frowned upon or what I don't want to change my clothes but I guess I'm going to I'm gonna put a cloth up in my hair just to pull it back a little bit and then I don't know what I already took a shower and everything and I did my nighttime skincare routine so I will not have to do anything when I get home or get in the bed. I was gonna say something inappropriate. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Yana, I just got a fresh wax today, so you already know what time it is. I'm gonna change my clothes and then I'll probably just see you guys when we get to the movies. Probably gonna throw on sweatpants. I should really just put my movie, but anyways, I'm gonna put on sweatpants really fast just so that we can hurry up and go because Aaron is telling me it's time to go. And I'll see y'all. First stop, Chipotle. Because the food there is nasty. <laughs> Secure the bag. Okay, let's go see if the ice cream shop is open because Aaron went to park the car in the garage because the ballet is full. Plus, we're not going to be out in time for the ballet. And they usually just let us keep our keys, but... So I figured it can't be bad. I love being outside at night. Being outside at night makes me feel young. Like, I'm outside. No idea the power I represent. I don't know if y'all can see me or not. Where'd I go? There I am. That was a bullshit movie. <laughs> Are you saying no? I mean, no, like, I'm not saying it was like, I'm saying like the way they ended that hell. Like, that's not all the other endings, like, they have an ending. They made it like, oh, you definitely gonna have to have come back for part two. And you know the hell not gonna be out to like 2026. I'm pissed. <sighs> I can't. Oh, uh, yeah. Hella bad about the ending. <laughs> so tired. Long movie. But okay. I'll see you in the morning. Do you hear that? Do you hear anything? No, you don't. The kids are officially back at school after literally seven days home from school. Aaron was like, it felt like they was on winter break or something. I'm like, who are you fucking telling? Anyways, let me put y'all up real quick. I feel like I can finally talk to y'all without children screaming in the background and it feels amazing. But anyways, today is Wednesday and we are officially about to start packing. Cause let's be honest, I keep getting caught up on cleaning the house, but also I need to start packing. So I'm like, today I could either spend the whole day cleaning or I can just pack and clean each section of the house as I go. Like I'm obviously gonna have to do the dishes and stuff like that, but you know, you get what I'm saying? So I got a Instacart order from Lowe's, shout out to Lowe's and Instacart. And I got some boxes and I think we're just gonna start in my office. Because I also wanted to like clear the space in there to see, you know, if we're going to do the little podcasty cast in there. I might wait till I move to start. We're just going to see. But I just want to basically go through everything, pack up what I'm going to keep, what I'm not. I think I was telling y'all I was maybe going to do like those rent-a-crate things. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to even do that because the timing is just going to be like all over the place this month because we have so much going on. I'm saying like this month because it's going to be June tomorrow. Y'all know we're traveling next month. We're traveling twice next month. Plus we're moving on top of that. 
and so I didn't want to have to deal with getting everything out of the crates on time and it just I don't know I basically felt like I couldn't start packing and keep in the crates for a long time unless you pay them like a billion dollars so I was like nah, we just gonna do the regular old box method and call it a day so I got bubble wrap boxes and tape and we're about to get this party started I already took a shower this morning and everything I just put my moo back on because I didn't feel like putting on real clothes today even though I probably should but I gotta unpack the laundry that's another thing I gotta do that I'm not really looking forward to so anywho child let's get these boxes taped up I can't believe it's been a year since we've lived here I mean when I tell you you blink and the time goes by that shit is you really gotta live every day. Every day you gotta get on your Zoom. Okay, I'm done saying that for real now, but seriously, like life's so scary how it just moves so fast. And it's crazy because you don't notice how fast life moves until you turn 18. The whole time you're a kid, you're just like, oh, I wish I could be a grown up. And then you get grown. I mean, as soon as I turned 18, I was like, how did I get 19? How did I get 20? I'm, st I'm still 17. How? How? I'm still in high school mentally. Like, how is this even happening? I have no idea. Okay, I did the first box upside down, so we're not off to a very good start. But anyways, let's go to the office. I know I gotta get some spray. I gotta get some spray because I already know it's gonna be a spider in there. And I'm just not having it today. Okay. I got 10 boxes just to start off with. And then I'm going to just kind of go from there. I'm going to probably either order them from Amazon or just keep getting them from Lowe's. I just want to say shout out to Tale. Because every time I go to her, my face just feels so much better after I get a facial. Like, granted, these are just like post marks. Like, they're like little spots because I've been picking up my face. But my face feels so good. Dun, dun, dun. I've really been saving boxes in here to pack. So I really didn't need to get boxes. But I forgot. Anyway, y'all, I'm excited though. We're gonna be I'm so excited. I can't wait till it's all done and over so I can tell you guys everything. That's been going on. Like y'all gonna be like, oh my god, she is so excited. Let's also get a trash bag. So we can put the trash away. I don't even know what all I'm gonna keep. So let's just go ahead and dig right in. Let me move this stuff from behind the door. I just know a spider is going to pop up. I just already know. And I'm not interested today. I know I'm keeping this. It's a baby cake that we never used, but we'll need it at the next place. For Mello for sure. If not anywhere, but just in his room. Take the bubble wrap out. It's like stuff like this. This is why Aaron always calls me a hoarder because it's like things like this, I have a hard time letting go. I'm gonna show y'all. So basically, I know I wanna keep this basket because why would I get rid of the basket? But then I'd be ODing it because I'd be trying to save the paper. But am I really gonna save the paper for next Easter like McKenna? And like in my head, yes. I'm like, yeah, I can reuse it next year. But then next year will come around and I'll be like, oh, I want to do green grass and not blue grass. And I'm really like, I do not want to take a lot of stuff to this house. Like I want to keep it very minimal. Of course, I don't want to like throw away things, you know, like unnecessary stuff. These baskets, I definitely will reuse around Easter time. They're just like little bunny baskets. So I'll just put them with my holiday stuff. But what I was thinking, actually, I need to get like actual storage boxes for my holiday stuff and not just put them in like moving boxes because then they'll just sit in there and they'll never get unpacked, which is what happened when we moved here. So I think I'm going to make a separate pile for this and then get some big containers to put stuff like this in. I'm just going to set it to the side for now. My desk is full of crap. I don't know why there's a winter jacket in here, but that needs to go in a it's place the mirror i ordered from cb2 is finally getting delivered today after like seven months super exciting this is also another thing i accidentally got this pink fitted crib sheet and i don't need a pink crib sheet what should i do with it i don't want to throw it away do you get what i'm saying this is difficult i'm having 
difficulties. I'm like, I don't know anybody that's about to have a girl. Good morning. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning. I'll just come and see how my mama's doing. She's good. We're back at school. I got a phone call. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. See, it's like stuff like this. Like this little basket. I might not need it today, but I might use it tomorrow. Listen. And then stuff like this. Command hook strips, they're not open yet, so I'm gonna keep them and organize them into like office things. I'm gonna put all my podcast stuff over here. My goal is to get one room done a day minus the weekends, which I feel like is doable. And when I got my teeth done, I actually need to call my dentist too, because I want to get my teeth shaved down a little bit more. Everybody keeps asking me that, and I think they trying to be slick, but they're not, they're not. I do want to get them cut down a little bit in the front, because I think they're just too big for my face. Anyway, so that's neither here nor there. Okay, see? We have some more command trash. I just need to clear off this desk right here. So let's get into go mode. I also have this mic. Testing, one, two, one, two. I might try this one out first. We need wipes. That's not working very well. We need like a cloth. So we've got the majority of everything in a box or in a trash bag. So this is what we're looking like as of now, which I feel like we're really not doing that bad. Some of these are just empty boxes. So I think we're doing good. I'm going to kind of consolidate down a little bit, like go through this box of cords and just see like, okay, we don't need to take all these cords. What do we actually need that's in there? I mean, honestly, probably nothing because I haven't came in here to get a cord in like forever and then there was some stuff that's more needs to go on like a different packing box i'm not gonna pack my cricket or my printer like i'll take those in my car when we move Rubbish. here's my thing 
I've got only three boxes of things packed that I'm keeping out of here, but I low-key almost want to go down and consolidate a little bit more because I honestly just don't want to take a lot of junk, you guys. Like, I kind of just want like a fresh start when we move. We move, we'll get organized, we'll see what we need. Like, I don't really want to like take, because I feel like that's kind of what I did here too. I tried to consolidate as much as I could from the last place, but we still have stuff in our attic that never even got unpacked. And I don't want that to be the case when we move. Like, I just kind of want to like, okay. But then there's stuff like this. It's like not even open. So I'm like, I don't want to just get rid of it. It's like vinyl for the cricket. So stuff like this, I think I'm going to keep. But other just like little items, I think I'm going to go ahead and just toss. Take the L. Like the used stuff, the open stuff. I'm going to call. I don't really know anybody who's really crafty either. That would maybe want the stuff. I don't know it's like every time i get rid of something then like i'd be needing it right after and i'd be like damn all right i'm gonna go back to finishing this up i'm just gonna go through everything and then close up the boxes and yeah we should be making some progress at least the office will be done that definitely didn't take me as long as i thought it was gonna do i stayed it's like somewhat organized a little bit so i don't know how we're totally gonna organize everything over at the next place either because there is like an office space but it doesn't have a closet in there this does so i'm thinking like the majority of like my storage and things are gonna go under the stairs there's like an under the stairs storage so i'm probably gonna put my container things in there and then i can just organize when i like the rest of the stuff i need to put in there when i get there so let me go through all that and then i'll come back and check in with you guys and um we'll go from there but at least that will be crossed off the list for today i could probably work on a couple more things because we have like this under the storage stuff over here like the little built-in cabinets and there's some stuff in there that i need to go through so probably end up going through that as well because some of it is a mix of like what i had in the office like kids stuff supplies and then also like seasonal decorations and decor so let me do this real quickly. Okay, I've done the bright idea. I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not, but I'm like, we gotta make some type of progress and I don't wanna do what I did last time and like wait till the very end of when we move to try to get rid of everything. So I'm just gonna start taking everything that I'm not keeping to the, like, to, or taking to the new house in the garage and then put it on Facebook Marketplace so people can just start coming to pick it up because, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna have to get to the garage one way or another, so might as well just start taking it and putting it in there. I moved my car out of the garage and then, yeah, I'm gonna just start moving stuff. We gotta get, we gotta make pro, we gotta make something about pro, guys. Like, Aaron's probably gonna be like, come home and be like, what are you doing? He's gonna be so annoyed, but that's okay. That's all right, that's okay. I don't know if I actually feel like doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna get too ahead of myself. I be having good intentions, but I've learned that about myself. Like I will get halfway into something and then be like, this is way more than I signed up for. Like trying to move this desk and all these chairs, like no. I'm also gonna ask Aaron's family or like anybody if they want any of the stuff. Okay, well, the office is done. The office is packed. I swept a little bit. I don't know, I can't see myself filming my podcast in that office. I'm like sitting in there trying to envision like where would I put the chairs? There's also just no background, no decor, nothing. So, and I don't want to film on a blank wall. Like I want it to be cute, so. I got the trash pile there. These are the clothes that we can drop off at the clothes bank box thing that they have. This is all the stuff that I didn't pack for office stuff because it's more like sentimental things, memorials, old Bibles. What do you do with your old kid's Bible that you don't use anymore, but you can't get rid of it because the Bible donated? This is my like first ever Bible. <laughs> I'm gonna clear off this table. I really need like a small box for all of my little items. And then there are some like random things like this bubble doesn't have a top to it. And then the kids bubble gun. It just needs batteries. Like it doesn't need to be trashed. So I think I'm gonna make them like a summer, like an outdoor box or whatever. I need some smaller boxes though. I think I got one over here that does. I got an Amazonia box. I'm gonna put I need to wrap 
some of this stuff up, like my little angels, all that good stuff. Does anybody else like family collect these? Like my aunts and my mom have a ton of these. And so when I started having kids, they passed down some to me. And then I think like my mom gifted me one one year on Christmas. I mainly just keep them because like these were my grandmother's. And so I kept a couple of hers whenever she passed away. And then I've got my little tray here. It has like this little flower is from Aaron's stepmom's funeral. And then I have this little necklace that has my niece's ashes in here. And then these ladybug earrings that my mom got me because we used to call her Ladybug, and then she liked unicorns, so my aunt, I think, got these for us one year for Christmas to like put our jewelry and stuff on, but I just put all of my like sentimentals. But I wanted to pack this stuff separately, that way I can ride in the car with me and it's not going to like movers. I wanna go get like a charm bracelet like remade. I have all these charms that I kept from when my Nana passed away. She had like all these charm bra bracelets with of, like pictures of me in here and then ones that said like Nana and stuff on here. So I wanna get it remade and get the charms redone on it. It's like little ballerina slippers. And I think it's so cute because like we don't really have these a lot anymore, but she had like little lockets with pictures of me in them. That's my girl. I miss her so much. And then there's some other stuff in here. Pearls, some more charms and things. It's just like, I don't wear any of it because I'd be scared that I'm gonna lose it. It's safer at home. My earrings. I think when we move though, since it'll officially be our house, we're gonna get some like big murals made and like put up in our house for like everybody who's passed away. But I kept all of these. I probably don't need like all three of these, but I can't just throw them out. Be so serious. This is my grandma, yo. Me and her are 20 twin twins. Like for real, for real. This is her, oh, sorry, that's her when she was younger. This is my niece. She was older than that when she passed away, but that's one of the little pictures I have of her. This was also my Nana. I don't know. I feel like she looks like she, like some of her facial features remind me of Carson. This is Ava. This was Aaron's dad's wife. Me and her were really close. Oh, this is why I've been having the holiday blues, y'all. Cause it's like back to back to back. Then this is Aaron's aunt. We need like a bigger picture of her. This was the only thing that we ended up getting from the memorial service that she had, but we kept it. And then we have a couple. Me, my nana and then she has like this whole like note that she wrote on here for me oh. so sweet i'm gonna cry all right everything else was kind of like miscellaneous so i'm gonna take this up okay. okay the rest of the stuff is kind of like random stuff like this candle, I'm just gonna light it. I'm not gonna worry about packing it. Some of the kids stuff. And then they have, <clears throat> I have like a whole binder or not binder, but if y'all know what I'm talking about, it's like a little portfolio type of thing where I keep all of the kids, just little crafts and stuff they make from school. And then these are the boys' school pictures. So it's upstairs in my closet. So I'm gonna take it up there. These are little ornaments. It's stuff like this, like, should I throw this away or should I keep it? I feel like we could use these to decorate the kids' mini tree in their room. But then also, who knows if I'm even going to use those colors. I'd be so conflicted. Oh, this is my KitchenAid mixing freezer. I actually did need that. It's like, I feel like some of this could be important. I just don't know. Alright, moving along to over here. 
Let's see what we got in here. Somebody needs to come get this fish tank ASAP. But let's do the other side really quickly. I was like, I have a feeling this side is gonna be a little bit worse. It's just more stuff to pack over here. This is all of our movie stuff, like our popcorn machine, and all of that good stuff. The seasonal leaf. I love this thing. I'm sure it's fall all the time. Backyard and do like a little popcorn setup. It's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna keep this out just in case we're like sleeping on air mattresses for whatever reason when we first moved in. It's like a little blower out there. Water balloons. Gotta keep the water balloons. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a TV cover for outside. I don't know if I'm going to keep all this stuff for the aquarium. We're thinking about maybe getting another fish. I don't know. Aaron was like, when we move, we can get some more. But I'm like, oh, uh, I don't know about that. I think maybe in goldfish, but...
All right. I have basically cleaned up the kitchen. I'm about to fill up my water bottle with this spray away. I have a couple of things over on this counter that I just need to take upstairs. But I feel like I got a lot done today, so I'm really happy because I feel like I was super, super productive, which is good. Only thing I don't know what I'm gonna do today is dinner because we don't have a lot of groceries because I was supposed to get my HelloFresh order in today. And I think I got rescheduled for tomorrow, so. But yeah, so we gotta figure out dinner, put away this stuff over here, but I think so far so good. I even cleared out this stuff and packed up everything that was over there that we needed. So yeah, probably start working on the kitchen tomorrow. I think all in all, if nothing goes wrong, we can probably get the house packed in the next two weeks. I don't know exactly how the whole moving process is gonna go yet, but I will keep you guys posted once everything is figured out as far as like where we're going and all of that. And you know, we have more like set dates, but tomorrow I think I'm gonna pack up the kitchen. I'm gonna keep out probably like a couple of things, pot, pan, and then we'll probably do like plastic silverware and stuff like that for the time being. I'll leave a couple of cooking utensils, but I know the kitchen is gonna be a lot to pack because I just have a lot of glasses and like serving platters and just like stuff like that and then i have all of these appliances that are mostly that i don't use to be honest that i i am going to give the ninja to aaron's older brother he's gonna take that since we have this air fryer right here that's on the counter but yeah i'll probably go through all of this tomorrow and then probably get rid of the pantry i don't know is it too soon to do the kitchen should we not do the kitchen yet should we wait <laughs> I feel like if I pack up the kitchen, then I'll need stuff. <laughs> I'll need stuff. I don't know. Either way, we're going to finish packing up something tomorrow or like one other area of the house. It's either going to be the kitchen or there is a closet upstairs that needs to get tackled that I really am not looking forward to doing. But we'll probably start upstairs in the hallway closet. I know the two biggest things are going to be that closet and then, well, not even the closet, the attic. And then we have a storage outside in the garage that we're going to have to go through as well. So... Yeah, I texted Aaron today and I was like, I need you to get everything out of the attic for me and bring it down Oop, so I can go through it and start packing because some of that stuff, like I said, I haven't even seen in a whole year. So I need to go through and see if it's just anything that I need. I know I have some like memorabilia stuff up there because I kept like every single note that any one of my friends that I ever had in like middle school and high school wrote me. I kept it in this binder and I have like a whole bunch of pictures, movie stubs, prom tickets, just stuff like that, old stuff that I know is up there that I wanna make sure that I get so it doesn't get lost. So, <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna sit down for the rest of the, I'm gonna say day, I wish. A new season of Selling Sunset is out and so me and Aaron were watching it last night and I think we fell asleep while we were watching the first episode because we put it on after we got home from the movie and by the time we got in bed, it was like one o'clock. So I'm gonna put that on and then the boys will probably be here in like 45 minutes because it's 2.15 and I just talked to Aaron and he said he was on their way to grab them, so. Anyway, I'm just going to sit down, chill for a little bit, and then if we do anything or I figure out what I'm going to do for dinner, I'll come back and get y'all. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner, though, to be honest. I'm not really in the mood to cook because I just clean the kitchen, and if I do do something, I'm probably going to do something quick, like those chopped cheese sliders that I made like a couple weeks ago, if you guys remember that. I was the only one that ended up eating them. Like, I smashed all four of those in one night because Aaron had taken the boys to get their hair done, and they didn't get back till late, and like he had already fed them. So I ended up eating all of them, they were so good. But it was like super easy because you just ground the beef, melt the cheese, and like cut up the lettuce and tomato. So that's my that's my, that's my my backup plan, unless we order something. Well, we'll see. Oh. Woo! Before I start watching this, y'all, can we please just talk about how the fact that Christina, is it Christine? Christine is not on the show anymore and everybody wants to paint her as the villain but she's really the reason why this show is popping and she definitely should have been on here for sure and then I've been seeing everybody on TikTok I had to get off because I don't want them to spoil it but saying that like they really don't sell these houses and that it's just all fake like it's literally just all fake but can I tell y'all who is my least favorite and it's probably I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not but I do not like Chriselle. I feel like she's so annoying. I feel like she's mad, fake. And listen, I don't know. This is my little 
reality junkie TV show, but I just feel like she's so fake. Like, I feel like the way she, like, laughs and looks, like, her whole just persona, like, am I being a hater? I don't know, but I just cannot stand her, and I'd much rather have Christine on the show than Chriselle, 100%. And Mary, I feel like Mary is a little flip flopper and low key. Like she, she's just very loyal to like Jason. What is the other twin's name? I don't know, child. But anyways, I am like, I was pissed that she's not on the season, and then that everybody doesn't want her to like be on here. Like she was messy, but be for real. And then they put these new girls on here. I'm like, who, who even? Nick Cannon, baby mama. Why is she on this show? Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and watch it. I'm only on the first episode, but. I'm gonna come back and give you guys some feedback after I finish this episode. And this is what I be talking about when I'm like, okay, I wanna watch a show with you guys on live. Like, I literally just wanna like sit and be on live. Not that I'm streaming the show live. Like, I mean, I guess I could if I, if like everybody needed me to, but like we we're all watching the show collectively and like giving our commentary. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know, anyways, okay. I'm gonna fast forward because I had already watched like the intro. I need to finish the finale of Bad Boys too. My Netflix has been buffering so bad lately. Or, which is younger than my son. Uh, but he is very mature. I think your pants are just... How old were you when, when you guys met? 24. Uh... What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Anyways, oh my goodness, I am getting ready to go. It's like 1030. I've been up for a while now. I've been just kind of like, I had a slow morning a little bit. I took me a shower. I spent a lot of time reading my Bible this morning. So I was about to get my day started. And then Aaron just called me and he was like, you want to go get breakfast? And I was like, yeah, say less. So we about to go get breakfast really quickly. I was going to put on a different shirt. I think I probably still am because the jeans I got on is giving up. Uh, the rolls are busting out. But I have on just like this little Shein crop top. Yeah, anyways. I, am, I think I'm just going to put on some little gold earrings. These look horrible though. I'm going to just put on my little Fendi ones. We're just going to the biscuit bar to go get something to eat. Nothing fancy. I got on my phone runners i need to go shopping but i'm not gonna do anything until we move i just need some more like cute little pieces i can pick out when i'm gonna go somewhere you know what i'm saying but just like kind of last minute like don't need to go shop or anything i really don't have to put nothing fancy on it's just that it's weird because i don't like dressing for summertime i'm a winter girl i like because the place that we're going is so casual like i could literally just put on sweatpants and go but i don't even think i'm gonna wear earrings really and truthfully Cause I feel like even the earrings are just too much. I need some gold studs. I don't have any gold studs. I just have like a lot of gold hoops. I think I'm just gonna put on a skims top. I'm gonna probably take my braids down. My braids are starting to look rough and I just got them done. I'm like, no. I don't know if it's the braids or if it's me. I can't tell. I feel like one, I, cause I haven't really done done my edges. Like I need to press them out, but I don't feel like it today, so. Anyways, yeah, let's go find a skims top. I had to go look and see my little purse. I got my little camera. Oh, no, I don't. Hold on, y'all. Once I get back from Biscuit Bar, we're going to start packing upstairs and getting everything. And just finish getting everything all packed up. So, yeah, I'm going to put on either a black or a tan little skims shirt, whatever I can find. And let's go eat. I want to try something new at Biscuit Bar today, so... I'm excited. This is what we're gonna be packing today. Whew, I'm scared of this, y'all. Look at that. Is it, can y'all see? Oh, yeah. I don't know how that happened. And then also the laundry room is a horrid mess. Yeah. So we're gonna be working on these two things today. Honestly, let me see if my shirts are in here. We use Mello's room as the dumping ground for all the laundry when it gets back delivered because we procrastinate and don't put it away on time because we are irresponsible. But I promise I'm gonna do better. I think all of my, oh no, here we go. All right, I'm gonna just throw this on because I don't like how this is just, you know, it's given, it's not given. I'm gonna put the little tank top on first and then I'm gonna put this top on. So one, two, three. Okay, I literally don't match at all. 
but that's okay i need to get another bag i wish like balenciaga made these bags in like a not a white because they do have it in white but like a green or a beige color because this is like my favorite everyday bag like i literally wear the shit out of this i love this bag i feel like it's the perfect size for me i can fit everything i need in here it's like my go-to like i i just pick this out of everything but i need like a neutral colored bag because i don't really have something that's like not white but like more on the like creamish side i need something like that oh also aaron's gonna take everything out of the attic today too so i don't know if we're gonna get to that but we gotta go through all of that stuff i was working down here this morning i got my little speaker and i had my bible out and i started um basically I don't know i be i'm one of those people who doesn't have like good handwriting and like i write really fast like faster i but i write slower than my thoughts come so i got on my macbook and i redownloaded the good notes app and then i started my prayer journal in the good notes app which i feel like is easier because i can type it out and then it'll be legible for me to go back and reread it because i honestly have like horrible handwriting but that was really nice today and then i started back journaling for the kids so I have like these little tabs for them. It's like just journals where I can just jot down things that are going on in their life right now. And like I can attach pictures for them. And then I have my little prayer journal. Today, what we read about, I follow the Bible app, which I think I've told you guys already. I just like go on there and then it kind of gives you a verse to read and prompts you from there. And then I'll just go in my Bible and then like kind of like read on from there. But today was the Lord is my shepherd. I have what I need. And he lets me lay down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. And I wrote this whole thing. So I might start sharing it with you guys. I wanted to get back doing it and being consistent because I hadn't been in my Bible bag lately. So I needed to sit down, come back and look over everything. Oh, we got some Amazon packages in too. And our HelloFresh got here, so we can open it and put it away. I don't know how long it's gonna take him to get here. Probably, he'll probably get here while I'm still opening everything up. Let's see, we got a couple things from Amazon and then our HelloFresh. Oh I actually I'm gonna get back into like consistently ordering my HelloFresh stuff. I also placed an order yesterday for Factor as well because I really did like those meals and it's like a good lunch and an alternative to eating out, which they're also like they HelloFresh bought Factor, so like they're all like one company. Yes. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. This week's meals, we got the chicken spaghetti pasta, which this actually looks really good. And then the crispy cheddar chicken. This also looks good. And then the caramel caramelized onion Swiss burger, which these all seem like they're gonna be good, easy, quick meals. I'm really excited to try this one. It's probably what I make for dinner tonight. Okay, I just finished putting everything away and Aaron just got here. So again. Before I go, Amazon is so wrong for this. There is barely any bubble wrap in here. I'ma just get it from Lowe's from now on. I did this. So. Oh. I got these refillable water water bombs i'll also insert the tiktok on the screen so you guys can see what they're like i was like oh the kids would love that what else i ordered a few things but uh bubble wrap okay surprise oh i got a case i'm getting the airpod pro maxes and so i ordered a case from them because Everybody said you need a case to protect the things from like peeling and stuff and whatever, but okay. Let it go. Get some breakfast. We are back. 
from biscuit bar it's just like a quick sit down eat it's not like you really gotta wait wait on your food or whatever so it was fast i got an instacart order from aldi's they got delivered while we were gone i just got like a couple of things because i got my hello fresh and my factor stuff so i really just got stuff to like make brunch this weekend and then my factor meals are not coming till next week so i got some stuff to make like chicken sandwiches for lunch so i got brioche buns and then i want to try to make french toast with this vanilla cream brioche bread because i saw them on tiktok do that and i was like oh that looks fire i got some lettuce so i can either do like sandwiches or salads for lunch got some peppers i want to try to make some egg white bites and then i also wanted to do breakfast potatoes for brunch so i got peppers italian dressing tomatoes the main reason i got it from all these is because they have that chicken and some more eggs they have this chicken that i like that you can just air fry and then i got the pepper jack cheese and then i got the boathouse strawberry banana smoothie for like my breakfast and then i got some cans of red bull because your bitch be tired i'm put everything away just there's some seashells in there though oh no rocks carter would still want this i'll probably i probably don't keep all of this to be honest just set it up a different a different way this box is empty oh my gosh i hope this stuff is not broken look it's a pumpkin my blue pumpkin oh these are all of our like everybody's first Christmas ornaments. This was Carter's. And then the nativity scene. Sassy, classy, 
and so badassy. Well, it's from Ava, my favorite girl in the world. I love you so much. I'm like, oh, gonna cry. baby book filled with it doesn't really have a lot of pictures in there but i'm just glad i kept up with it all this time that's me back in 1999 it's not really filled with too much oh this is my mom's baby shower that's my mom when she was young and very pregnant here goes my dad ball head it's crazy because he got a lot of hair now. I was a big baby. That's me. That's my uncle. It's my favorite uncle. It's my favorite picture of me and my mom. Okay. <laughs> These are all our pictures. I need to do some scrapbooking. We have so many photos. Look. I love having pictures. Old pictures. That's my grandpa and his wife and my grandma. And then that's a little me. Oh, it's Carter. Carter was literally born the most perfect baby. That's him out the coochie. Look how cute he was. That's like one week old. Oh my goodness. This was the binder I was telling you guys about that I keep like all of my old high school memorabilia in here. I'm scared something's gonna jump out at me. That's my GG. What is this? Is this my, oh, this is my elementary school. Look, I keep up with my stuff, okay? This is my elementary school like teacher's class picture. That was my fifth grade teacher right there. Shout out to Mr. Chagru. Love him. I actually saw him a couple years ago, but I knew he wasn't gonna recognize me. These are all little things that my Nana kept that I made her. Happy birthday, have a big, happy, happy 54th birthday. I had to be young. Carson, this is little me. <laughs> little me again. Oh, it's my clubbing era. Not friends with these people anymore, but that's like me and Aaron and all his cousins and not all his cousins, but his cousins and his brother. That's funny. Here go Aaron out at the club without me. Knowing he was gonna be in trouble when he got home. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but that's the guys. It was a girl somewhere back there. She ducked behind all of them. Anyways, chop. Okay, those were the loose pictures, but this is like my old elementary school. When I tell y'all, like I have everything. I wanna go to, I've been wanting to go to Africa so bad ever since I was little. I used to have my aunt would adopt kids in Africa. You know those commercials you used to see where you could like adopt a kid and like send them money and like stuff like that? So I used to, I used to do that when I was little. I went to homecoming. These were all notes. I think I'm friends with like one person out of this whole binder that I have all these notes from. But I literally have, look, all of these letters that everybody wrote me. This was from a girl, she was trying to steal my man back when I was in middle school. This is my cousin that passed away. My sports medicine certificate. Lord, I got a lot of stuff in here. Bro, the first time I ever met Aaron's mom, we basically like were at his football game and I have seen her before because we lived like next door to each other. Anyways, let me move y'all down so I can sit comfortably. But basically there was like this dollar bill flying through the air and it like landed on the floor. We both went to pick it up at the same time. And I was like, no, you keep it. And then she was like, no, you keep it. And she like put it down my, sh put it down my shirt. And I literally kept the dollar to this day. That's how like in love and obsessed with that boy I was. They're falling apart. The letters. I don't even know who this one's from. I can't read it. That sucks that I don't care about your feeling. But yeah, this is from Cannon. I think, I don't know if I, I've showed you guys pictures of the pictures before, but these are the original copies. This is dated from, where's the date? Did I put the date on here? I used to swear I would write the date on the back of the pictures or something. I don't know, but this is literally a photo that I drew one night when me and Aaron stayed up on the phone. Oh my God, this is so crazy. And it's like our house and like our house was gonna have like a basketball court in the backyard and like a grill TV area with a pool. 
and then it was like me and him and then like the kids we didn't have mellow on there but yeah we wanted an aquarium <laughs> and then we were gonna have two dogs <sighs> child anyways i have just like a ton of letters in here i'm trying to see oh and then i had like this most important date when i met like my best friends at the time so augustine i'm still friends with him but it says like 6 25 99 because he's like we've been best friends before we even knew each other before we were born but like now he's more close to aaron but like i knew him before aaron and then crystal orea 2010 i'm not not friends with her anymore but we just don't talk a lot ruth melendez i have no idea what she's doing these days and then this one used to be one of my best friends too and this is my best friend ever in the whole entire universe and i'm not friends with her anymore either but these were all my friends at the time, Natalie, Dagan, Crystal, Raul, Aaron, Alicia, AJ, Shantae, and Ruth. And now out of all those people, I am friends with my baby daddy, Aaron. <laughs> and then Augustine is still friends with us. We just don't see him a lot because he's like overseas for basketball. And then Raul, we're still friends, but he lives in Miami. So, oh, that's crazy. This is literally insane. I'm gonna have to like go back and read one of these one day. Most of them are from the same person, bro. We passed this piece of paper around in middle school. We all kissed it with our lip gloss. That's so fucking hilarious. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. One day I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna reread all of these. It's like a time machine. This one is about to just like fall apart. Oh, this is from Shelby. Shelby. Shelby has a baby now. Crazy. Okay. Anyways, I just wanted to look through that. I feel like I always put it away when I move and then I always I only look at it like once a year. I might have some more stuff. Yeah. I got Carter's baby now. Let's just go down memory lane for a second. I'm like, I'm like a little kid right now. Okay. This, I know what this book is. Ow, this is Haley and me. This is like who was supposed to be like my best, best friend for life. Her and my mom were best friends and we like grew up together. She was literally the cutest child ever. Like ever. Like there's us. It's not gonna focus, but she was so pretty. She's still cute now, but as a baby, like literally the cutest thing ever. That's me and her. Okay, so does Melo look like me? This whole book is just pictures of me and her. Because I had tried to go through my pictures once upon a time ago. How cute. I don't know what this is. I think these are like, oh, this is from Carter. Father's Day. I like when they do stuff like this. Because I feel like these are things I can keep. Like, they're not going to like get messed up because they're not paper. This is from Carter. It's like your favorite little monster. They always do better stuff for Father's Day, though. Like, I will say. Be for real. <laughs> This is Carter's Merry Christmas from what? Gotta have been like 2020, 20, oh, 2019. Crazy. Anybody in my elementary class? Were you guys in my elementary class? <laughs> this, oh, there's me over on the far side over here. I know one person at this whole picture, Littleton Knight, and that's literally it. Oh, everybody's name is on here. That's crazy. That's literally crazy. Me as a baby. I gotta do better about taking the kids like to get professional pictures taken. Cause I have like a ton of little photo shoots. These are literally all for Father's Day. I'm gonna re-gift these. <laughs> this is all Carter's stuff. His little footprint from when he was born. My ultrasound pictures with him. Everything from his baby shower. TT Karen. I'm still cool with Karen. These are actually funny to like read back like when you get a chance. I got all my hospital bracelets. Literally me at the ripe age of 18. What a baby. I'm like, whose baby is this? Am I taking him home? Why am I doing that? I don't even know this child. Then day two, I started to warm up to him. I was like, okay, this might be kind of fun. <laughs> but the first day I was like, what the fuck is that? And you're gonna let me go home with him? That's so irresponsible. <laughs> He was six pounds, five ounces, 19 and a half inches long. It's this little tag from the hospital. 
he had a big old head boy can y'all see that cranium right there lord jesus that's why he was stuck up in my coochie i have literally so many ultrasound pictures with him because when you're like a teen pregnancy if you're considered like high risk Ooh, these were all the baby names that we were possibly going to use so his name was either going to be ashton ace carter jeremiah still use that one justice anthony i liked carter and jeremiah and then for girls i had navea sarah rose edith nehemiah and lila and then everybody like aaron's grandma wanted us to name him furious and then i think aaron's mom wanted us to name him blaze which i'm so glad we, <laughs> we did not these are all like just little like i have all of the stuff from his baby shower that people filled out your auntie walisha too bad you left them for a day at home every day all the love you receive you're healthy a good leader hope you grow old and happy hope you ignore the bad things hope you aren't afraid of anything that one was sweet i miss my bitch i won't even lie and i saw my friends i didn't even tell y'all so the girls i used to be friends with like my best 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 friends that like i lived with in high school i saw her mom the other day and it was just her birthday but she still has me blocked on all social media so you learn to let it go i just let it go after that because i was thinking about it a lot and then i was like I don't even know her anymore, so. I had a lot of people at my first big show. It's a lot of little things. I don't even know who all those people are. Oh, this was Carter's second birthday. I used to do all out, such a waste of money, but. <laughs> His first birthday was second down or something like that, and it was like football themed. And I made everybody like these little badges that were like VIP guest, Carter's second birthday. We rented out this little space. Memory Lane. This is his baby book. He's the only one of the children that has a baby book. And I'll tell you the oldest. I'm not gonna show that one. Half of these he's naked in, but Snapchat filters. I just printed out the pictures because I just wanted to have a baby book for him. Literally two braids. I'm telling y'all, that's literally all I used to rock. Him on his play mat. <laughs> That was my best friend in high school. If she saw this, she'd be like, oh my God, why did she put me on the internet? But I don't care. <laughs> my, I was gonna say hotel room. My hospital room was packed down when I had him. Everybody came to see baby Carter. Oh my gosh, look how young Aaron looks. He kind of looks the same, but he was a baby. Carter loved him. They were like two peas in a pod. He did not like me too much, however. This was the first time I ever actually saw Carter because I didn't get to see him when I first had him. Like I had him and I saw a picture of him on Snapchat before I even held him because like, when he came out, he was drowsy because been basically in the birth canal for too long. So they ended up having to use forceps to pull him out, but he was like drowsy and they had to take him over to the table. And Aaron was like taking pictures of him and they were like cleaning him up and stuff before they brought him over to me. And I remember seeing the picture and I was like, he looked just like Aaron and it was literally so scary. I was like, oh my gosh. Anyways, I have a lot more pictures, but I'll spare y'all the rest. I'm going to put everything back into a box and then I need to order some more containers for a couple of things. Oh, if you've never seen this, okay. After this, I'm done. I have all my grandma's movies because she had like a big DVD collection. This is like my favorite movie to watch during Christmas growing up with my grandma. I love Eloise at Christmas time. And then Fried Green Tomatoes is like my legit favorite movie. And also my dog Skip. So I have like a whole bunch of these that I kept from her house. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 One of the best books ever. So very sad, but uh, such a good book. They Cage the Animals at Night. I've read the entire series by David. Uh, I think his last name is like Pleasure or Pleasure? Pleasure? Anyways. Okay, he kind of does look like Mello. That's the only reason why I'm showing you all this picture. But <laughs> this is my little brother when he was young. The one that everybody says that Mello looks just like him. That's him. I'm kind of seeing it right there. Just like a teeny tiny bit. That's my other brother too right there. But literally, we looked crazy. This was my mom. I was gonna say my mom's wedding, but it was my my aunt Sarah's wedding. Literally crazy. That's my mom. I don't really think y'all have ever seen my mom before. That's my mom. That's my stepdad, brother, uncle, aunt, uncle, aunt, brother, uncle, aunt. 
me. So funny. My mom's eyes were closed in the picture. Oh, snap. Here go the family, the fa <laughs> family picture. <laughs> That's my mom, my stepdad, my sister, my brother, me, and then look at little white skin Terrell. That's how Mellow is going to look in all of our family pictures. That is so funny. Oh my goodness. Look at my big head, boy. Be for real. My sister was so mad. She used to, oh my gosh, she used to cut up. That is so funny. Okay, I'm actually done this time. For real, for real. My degree, baby. High school diploma. Quit playing with me. Yeah. Should I keep that? I have like all my transcripts and stuff in here. I feel like I don't really need it though. I know my great, my GPA was not good. When I tell y'all, okay, just stop listening to me when I said I'm done. I literally never went to this class and I ended up finishing the class with an 18. My grades was shit. I was pregnant. I was tired. I was over it. Okay. Oh, my sports medicine grade, 100. Econ, I ended it with, okay, let's look at my final grades. Okay. I was in leadership, period. I don't know how they let me into leadership, but anyways, I was in leadership. English, I got an 84. Am I reading that right? What the fuck is that? Oh, math, 83. Biology, I finished it with a 37, but my ending grade for the semester was an 18. I got a 91 in sports medicine, and I ended my class in econ with a 91. All bullshit classes that I hardly ever went to. That's trash. Do people keep their high school diploma? I don't know. I have these cameras. I still need to go get the film developed on. I need to get a storage bucket for these two things because these are seasonal decor so it's always going to need a bucket to be in instead of a box. Let's see if I can order some off Amazon. Let's get into the... I'm scared about this. finish the packing upstairs but I got a slow start to the day and then I had to do a little bit of work for a brand so yeah it's like a couple minutes before not a couple minutes but like 20 30 minutes before I need to pick up the kids so we're gonna make dinner really fast first just because I think I have been telling y'all I want to start trying to like make dinner before I pick up the kids it's just one of those things where it's like you have to adapt to the stages that your kids are in and it's just easier for me if dinner's already done and I can put it on the table instead of trying to like cook while they're all in here. It also gives me anxiety, which I know to some people seems weird, but like loud noises when I'm trying to focus on a task that is not relatively that easy for me cooking, baby, because you have to multitask. <laughs> No, I think it's just because Mello is so young too. Then like we can go to the park and I don't have to worry about coming home to cook dinner. It'll already be done. And then we can just take showers, eat, and then, you know, wind down, get ready for bed or whatever. Once Mello gets older, then I can cook at a normal time or like when they come home from school and stuff like that. But it's just when they're younger, you kind of just have to adapt to whatever works best for you. And cooking before they're home works better for me if dinner is already done. So with that being said, we're making the chicken spaghetti that I just got from hello fresh it's supposed to only take about 25 minutes with five minutes of prep time so let's go ahead and just get into it i got the cutting board over here okay so we need to put a large pot on the stove oh we need two pots one for our chicken i'm so confused i'm missing a pot you know why? Because it's in the sink. 
I really should have started cooking a little bit earlier. I want to take them to the park today because it's hot and they can just run around and get a lot of their energy out because I feel like lately we've been just watching a lot of movies and TV, which is cool, but I just want to get outside, play, do some other activities. It'll be back into season soon as far as like basketball, football, and stuff like that. So once we get moved, we should have oops, more activities to do. I just be trying to keep them busy after school because we can't just be dry in here looking at each other. Like, that's why I'm excited to move so that they can have, you know, their own big backyard. We have a small yard right now and they have the trampoline, but once we move, they'll have a lot of space and a big yard and they'll just be able to basically run around. They're going to have a ton of stuff out there. We're going to do the big, well, the backyard won't be done, but anyways, anyways, let's prep. Produce, hot tomatoes, lengthwise, garlic. over here. The kitchen is kind of a mess, but we're gonna wash these tomatoes really quickly. Uh, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. Boom. You know what? I could maybe start doing. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do this or not, but hear me out. Maybe I could start. I have an acrylic cutting board right here too, so I'm not cutting on the counter. BT dubs. Maybe on. Mm, I'm not gonna say Saturdays, and I'm not gonna say Sundays either. But like, whatever I decide to be my prep week, like maybe I can just like go ahead and like make all of the HelloFresh meals for the week, and then it would even be done ahead of time like meal prepping prep thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I can't wait till the boys get older. Like I can, but I can't because I'm just ready to be in that era of like going back to a regular adult schedule. I like cooking late at night and just like being more active at nighttime. And with kids, I feel like I really can't do that because I have to get them in bed by a decent time. And I'm gonna have them in the kitchen cooking for real, for real. Just right now. Let's get these tomato slices. I'm having the hardest time trying to design the boys' bedrooms, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna hire an interior designer, which I might still do for some areas, but I was thinking like the kids' room I could do by myself, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think it would be that hard, but I don't know, because I just can't find the right pieces that I want. I want the boys' bedrooms to be very, very, I want them to be really cool. Like I want them to really like them, and I have, themes picked out for their room already but I can't find the right beds that I want and then I'm like I can't find anybody like I don't know anybody that's like a carpenter that can like build it for me so I don't know I'm gonna ask maybe somebody who's in construction I could low-key ask my uncles but I don't know not to be offensive or anything but they are getting a little bit they they's getting a little bit old and one of my uncles <laughs> has back problems so <laughs> I'm not going to ask them, but they could definitely do it. They're like the handiest handymen I know. What is a shallot technically? Is this an onion? Well, it's called something else, but like what? it looks like an onion. We'll probably do dessert before dinner today. Take the kids to ice cream shop after we go to the park. It's hot outside though. I don't know how long we're going to stay. I don't know how to dice this correctly i can't wait to take a cooking class oh we're just so busy this month i don't think we'll probably do it this month but maybe in, i was gonna say the fall like august we are so busy june is busy july is busy everything just busy baby i don't know if this took me five minutes or let me just take these big crust pieces out Okay, I'm horrible at mincing garlic. I usually just use pre-minced garlic because this is not my jam. I'm trying to peel it. Oh my goodness. Send help. People be crushing it with the back of their knife. I have a little chopper thing. Where is it? I swear, I have everything. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna just try to put this in here and see what happens i should put the little shallot in here i don't know if it's gonna chop it up enough but we could just keep putting it through 
I don't know if that was productive. I can't get it small. Like, I don't know how people be doing that. I feel like you have to have the right knife and the right technique. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Let's see what's next. We have cook the chicken, pat the chicken dry with paper towel, season it with a half Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. I'm going to do butter, cook, and let it brown. Does it say cut? Or is it already cooked? Transfer chicken to a plate. Wipe out pan. Cook the pasta. Cook the tomatoes. Okay. The chicken is in the fridge. Is it strips? I don't know. We're going to wash the chicken just, you know. The science behind or the reason why people don't wash their chicken is because they say it's cross-contamination. But you can just clean the sink out. I personally don't like the way chicken tastes if you don't wash it off. That's just my opinion. Maybe it comes washed already. I don't really know. You don't really have to use the strainer. You need a strainer. I didn't see it though. Oh, here it is. I need scissors. The kitchen is less. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. It says add a little salt and pepper to it. So I'm gonna add just a little t tinge of my own tea. Okay, dinner is done. I'm about to run and go pick the kids up. I'm gonna just do the dishes after dinner because I don't really have 
home right now. I'll put the pot in the microwave. Keep my HelloFresh card. So I'm going to trash away. And I'm off to go get the boys, go to the park, get some ice cream. Dinner's out the way. Don't got to worry about it. And we didn't do fast food, so. Hats on the back to you, girl. I have to clean up. The kids will make dishes anyway, so. I'll see you guys when we get to the park. Come on, let's play. You couldn't do it? What? Hey. I see you. I see you. Okay. Okay. Your mom, you see yeah. it's going down? Uh, my ice cream is going down. That's because I'm eating all it. I'm about to give y'all a new Starbucks addiction. It is the strawberry acai lemonade with peach juice. And then I add one pump of cane sugar. It is really sweet. So if you don't like really, really sweet, don't get the extra pump. But this is fire. Okay, anyways, happy Friday. I'm turned up. I'm turned up. It's June. It's June. It's my birthday month. And we just solidified the plans of what we're going to do. Because we've been saying we're going to go to Miami. But everybody can't meet us in Miami because of like work schedules and just like other stuff. So we're going to go to Houston instead. And we're going to get like a big ass Airbnb. And it's going to be me, my friends, Aaron, his friends, brothers, cousins. It's going to be lit. I'm literally so excited because we're going to be so deep. Like when you go out to Houston, it's like it depends on what type of vibe you're on. But if you want to like go out and like get a section and like do all and go to the club and stuff, you got to be deep. So I'm hell excited. I just said everybody text message and I was like, um, Houston on the this day and this day, be there or be square losers. <laughs> and it's like everybody can get there because if they want to, they can just drive. Like everybody's pretty close. We're all pretty close to Houston. <coughs> <Ooh. coughs> I'm personally gonna fly. Um, because if I don't gotta take the drive, I'm not gonna take the drive. So me and Aaron will probably fly on JSX. And then, yeah, it's gonna be a lit little turn up weekend. We'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We might just do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but maybe Thursday. I don't know, we're gonna peep with the box. Sorry. I'm gonna start planning it and looking for the Airbnb tonight. But anyways, I've been up for a while. I haven't talked to you guys this morning. I ran out the house. I got another lash fill today because I usually get them once a week and because I had went on Monday but missed my Friday I had lost a lot more than I normally do so now they're like back actually at their normal fullness so yeah plans for today I got a little bit of work to finish up I gotta send out the laundry really fast because today's the day to send it out and then we're gonna go to the mall I want to get a couple things out of Sephora um like I really just want to go smell some perfumes and then I want to get one thing out of Sephora but it's kind of like a I'm not really trying to do too much like I'm not trying to do too much I just know I want to get this thing out of Sephora and I could I've been thinking about should I just instacart it and be responsible and clean my house or is it a Friday fun day I could clean later tonight but I won't get the opportunity to go to Sephora later because I'll have the because the kids will be on so I'm like I don't know what I want to do we gonna figure it out after I put the laundry together and edit uh, this little bit of work and then send it over. It shouldn't take me no more than like 20, 30 minutes and then we can leave. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, cause we're gonna be going to the um, water park tomorrow, but also church on Sunday and I wanna get the kids a couple more tops for church. I also wanna look for a top, so I'm gonna go to Zara um, and see if I can find like something cute to wear. I'm trying to get in my matchy matchy era but anyways okay but i'm like super turned up today y'all i've been listening to the new dark album and yeah i'm just i'm feeling myself today i'm just excited for my birthday i got so much coming up <clears throat> 
We just, we just, we just busy. We having fun. Y'all, I feel like y'all are crooked. Why do it look like that? I can't tell if it's crooked or not. Anyways, child, we finna just put this laundry in some bags really quickly. I'm not gonna finish packing today, so we will resume packing on Monday. <clears throat> Why is only one bag in there? Oh, I came home too because I need to shave my legs real quickly because they look so real rough. That's not going. Boom, 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 boom. I can feel it, baby. I really need to get a new pair of jeans too. All are so crooked and I don't know why. You're so crooked. It's really gonna piss me off. What in the hit is going on? Okay. Right. Oh my goodness. But did I tell y'all we're going to the water park tomorrow? We're gonna have a little Saturday fun day with the kids. And then church Sunday. I think that's already separated. It's a towel. <clears throat> Whew. I was going to say maybe we could just all go to the mall together tomorrow. I don't know what I want to do. Because I really do need to get the house clean. But I really want to get out the house too. So we're going to see. We're going to see what the play end up being. I'm so excited. I got to get me some new clothes, y'all, because my clothes are getting too small. <laughs> my weight fluctuates so bad. Like, I'll be like, like, not thin, but I'll be like, what, like, I'm usually fluctuating in between, like, 140 and 130 and i'm either like on the extreme ends like either i'm like like really close to 130 or i'm like really close to 140 and my body can just not figure it out and today i went to put my pants on and i could barely get them on i was like oh no 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. this is not the move separate all of Aaron's stuff from our stuff because when he works out and stuff his clothes get real mm -mm, musty crusty dusty and I do not like them getting washed with my clothes because I'd be like the last time I got my clothes washed like you have to give them laundry well you don't have to give them laundry detergent but I do now because the 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 laundry detergent that the company gives the people who do the laundry the girl was telling me like it's not good and so she was like, I have to like, I'll have to like keep washing and washing and the stuff still won't come out. So now I just send Tide Pods. <clears throat> but one time we got the laundry back and like all my shirts smelled like, like sweat. And I was like, um, mm -mm. get somebody else to do it. So yeah, like this top, I don't be, I do not be musty. Okay. Maybe if you catch me on a really, really, really rough day or something. But for the most part, nah. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me go get the stuff out the kids' room. I really need to clean up and I don't know what day I want to do it on. Like, I'm busting out the seams of this. I don't know if y'all can tell. Probably can't, but I'm literally like. It's so tight today. So that must mean that I'm, I'm thick. I'm thick. Let's go to the kids' room real quick. Put this laundry away. I feel like my life 
is an endless repetitive cycle. Laundry, laundry, clean, make breakfast. <laughs> Let me get these laundry pods before I forget. I'm gonna try to keep their swimsuits out for tomorrow because the laundry won't be back till later in the evening tomorrow. And I don't wanna have to get new swimsuits. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Carter and Carson about their bathroom hygiene because it is getting out of control with them not flushing the toilet. It smells literally so bad. Today it doesn't smell that bad, but the other day I came in here and I was like, holy hell, it smells so bad. <clears throat> Woo! Oh, they barely got anything in here. I'm gonna go look in that room. Okay, I got, uh, I don't know where the rest of their swimsuits are. Double check their room for any missing laundry. I was gonna say, their room's actually not that bad. They don't really have it that dirty. Phew! But they do be liking to hide clothes in their closet. I'll be telling them to clean up and then I come in here and them shoved their clothes all in here. So let me see. Okay, I think we're good. They want to come outside. Oh. Alrighty. Let's go. This hallway is a mess. But that ain't my problem until Monday. I'm not going to force it. I want to enjoy my weekend. Don't mind my bed or my room. I promise, like, if we don't clean today, which I don't think we're going to. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna do, I wanted to do a Sunday reset anyways. Like I've been wanting to do like a Sunday reset, but I've been just trying to figure out like how I'm gonna do it because honestly, I also like to have Sundays as my rest day. Like sometimes it's a lot to try to do like a full day of cleaning and all that. So I'm trying to come up with like a, a new like Sunday schedule. I mean, I guess Saturday could be my rest day. I don't know. Being an adult is so ghetto. <clears throat> But I do think we're going to start going to the early church service in the mornings on Sunday instead of the 10 o'clock just because then we have a little bit more time left in our day and we can still go get breakfast after we go. So <sighs> I've been slacking a lot lately. I'm just ready to get back on my Zoom. I'm reading through these emails about the house. Sorry, y'all. Give me a second. I'll copy the survey. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of my editing. Maybe y'all want me to show y'all how I do it a little bit. I don't know. I don't be I don't be knowing if people be caring about that type of stuff. Like if y'all want to see that kind of stuff. But I have to add in like a little cooking clip for my HelloFresh sponsorship. So... I was just going to edit it down really quickly and send it over, but they're really trying to play on my top right now, so I'm not too happy about that. It's not the brand though. It don't be the brand. I feel like that'd be the misconception when people are like, they hear influencers talking about stuff like nine out of 10, it don't be the brand. It'd be they're like representing managers. I'm gonna just take a screen recording that way y'all can see it on the screen. Cause this right here is just not the vibe. And then my camera's all crooked. So we just, uh, 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 uh. okay. Whew. All right, so let me hit screen record and then I can like put it on the screen right here and then talk to y'all. Five, I don't think I have record entire screen record. Okay. so basically i edit in final cut pro and i was actually cooking and talking while i was doing this portion of it but since it's just for 
like the sponsorship they want like a piece of me cooking in the integration so I am going to just take like little clips like the best little clips and put them in the sponsor in the sponsorship <sighs> okay let me see I don't know let's see I wasn't trying to be like super aesthetic here so I don't really like a lot of the clips but it's okay and then also <clears throat> the only kind of like things that I do to like make things look better is like kind of like zoom in like if I didn't get the best angle on the camera I'll kind of like zoom in like that and then it takes less of or I mean, it takes like some of that background noise out of there okay I can delete all of this I'm pretty sure because I already saved it Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of the cutting, a little bit of me pointing at the instruction card. Oh, oh, don't let Final Cut Pro start glitching. And then I'm going to move this. <clears throat> the good thing about editing is you can put things in whatever time order that you want them to be in. So I'm going to like make it look like I read the instructions to start off. <clears throat> then I started prepping the tomatoes. For some reason, my computer's lagging. I don't know if it's because I'm screen recording or what. All of this, I think, like, I was talking, so it's not, like, the best angles. Again, it's just little clips I'm trying to add, so... I'm just looking for the cutest stuff. I cannot wait to move and for y'all to see my new kitchen, because the content is going to be fire! Like, I'm not going to have to have, like, all my appliances on the counter, so they're not going to be, like, in the background of my stuff. Oh, yeah, it's going to be live. Okay. Unflip this. Okay, let's do me turning the stove on. Did we get that? Yeah. And then you can kind of, like, crop it. I love editing low-key. It just takes so much time. That's the hardest part about it. Okay. Let's get some of the stirring. I really just like to cut down my clips like to what I want really fast and then go back and make little small edits. And a good way to like cut down your b-roll is like once you're in the action and then when you get to the end of the action like if that makes sense so like right here I just cut like my first scoop on the plate but nobody is going to want to sit there and really like watch me just like keep scooping and scooping and scooping on the plate so and then especially for this so I'm just going to go to like the last scoop where the plate is full and then because it's like you started the action you completed the action you moved on to the next action I just personally feel like that gives it a better flow um but you know to each is their own all right, let's get some of us cooking down the tomatoes. I probably don't even need all of the stuff that I have, but I'm not gonna. And again, this is just like little clips for the sponsored portion, so I'm not really too much tripping on it. This is not gonna be like the main part, like the actual edited part of the video that you guys are seeing, or you guys would have already saw because I cooked this yesterday. Yeah, I look so ugly right there. I be having to crop my mug, like the way I be mugging so hard out the video because I be doing the dishes and I be like, I hate my life. That's what I be looking like. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, then we got a little toss. Reset, because I, did I bring, I just brought it in. Why does it look like that? That is not the whole frame. Shut the front door. 
um, I don't even like that. I don't like that at all. That was a horrible angle, McKenna. It's not really a, a good way to fix that either. Shit. Okay. All of this I don't need. Okay, so I got 55 seconds, but in reality I only need like 30 seconds. So I'm just going to like chop it down. More. Now it's at about like 30. I'm going to take that out. Leave this. Ooh, I didn't like the way that transitioned. No, I don't like that. Okay, wait. No, I'm gonna just leave that. Okay. Now I gotta figure out a way to fix that because that looks a hot ass mess. Okay, so now it's 20 seconds. Copy it. I already did the edits originally right here so where is it hmm I'm trying to find it Where did it go? Okay. I was I thought the clips were already saved in here, but they're not. So I'm just gonna copy paste what I edited. And then I know. Okay, so basically, are y'all still with me? Sorry. <laughs> It's like hard to explain. That's why I was like, okay, let me screen record and then Okay, so basically here where I'm putting them in the basket I'm gonna chop um, and It's hard to chop it because the audio is already attached Let's see. Where's a good place to put this? I know I had did like a lot right here So I was like I can just cut that down to right there Eek! I need to detach the audio. Detach audio. Okay. And then... Well... See, it's like, I don't even need that much footage. Hmm. Okay. 5% less expensive than takeout. And if you're a busy mama like me, they got you covered with quick easy Okay. Stop, 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 stop. That looks more like a correct placement right there. Okay. We basically need to chop these clips down to 14 seconds so it will fit within the audio. So I'm going to just continue to make little cuts. So good. Cut that in half. It's just going to be choppy, but we're going to make it shake. Like shoddy low. Okay, here we go. Now I can play it back. I've already watched it and I already know what the audio sounds like. So basically, I'm just looking for 
Plus, it's summertime and I want to focus on the fun things, so I'm letting HelloFresh take care of the meal planning and prepping so that I can enjoy my summer. And you can too by. Mm, okay, there. Go. The cooking is actually gonna have to be in the front because. <coughs> trip to the grocery store plus it's less expensive and 25 percent less expensive than takeout and if you're a busy mama like me they got you covered with quick and easy recipes on the hello fresh menu including fast and fresh options ready in 15 minutes or less it's a great way to explore new food options and get out of that recipe rut that we all tend to fall into after a while plus it's summertime and I want to focus on the okay that's not ideally how i would want it to look like it would flow better but the text is like if the cooking came after but the text is already on the screen and since i didn't have it on my computer like i had already deleted it i'm just gonna go ahead and share it to them so basically when you're like doing a sponsorship you save the little clip of the video or you can save the whole video it depends on what the brand's guidelines are then you upload it to youtube you list it as an unlisted video they give you your feedback you make re revisions if needed and then once you get approved you can integrate that into the whole video and then go live so not every brand is like that but for the most part that's usually how it goes okay anyways basically so yeah that is it once it finished sharing it's almost done it's got like two more seconds left. I'm going to just upload it to YouTube and then we can really head out of here. I'm like, I really, I'm probably going to put on some different pants though. Because I know I'm going to be dry, uncomfortable walking around the mall. And these pants keep riding up my booty. I think I have some cargo pants I'm just going to throw on top of these. So, today I'm off my schedule. Fridays are usually like the day I take off like... I feel like it's good to have like you know at least one day where i'm like okay i can go get my stuff done so i usually like do my lash fill on friday i'll go to the um, nail salon if i need to get like my nails or my toes done or anything so <clears throat> i didn't have any other appointments today my toes i really could have got gotten them done but i'm just gonna hold off on it because i just i don't feel like going today so and they still look decent what is this okay um i know my management team has to like hate me because my i am not punctual at all in my emails i used to try to be so formal like hey blah 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 comma no i am i'd be like girl okay thank you da, 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 da. like i i i'm not formal with them like i feel like we we have a good rapport like i'm i'm not about to just i'm sorry melissa i i just be typing and going and trying to get through my emails because honestly i'm like really bad at responding to my emails like i will look at them read them mentally respond and then go about my day and never send anything i love that google has automated replies though no, 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 no. Another way I'd be keeping myself organized is with my little thing. I am getting my iPad back up and running. I gotta contact Apple support because the password is uh, it's disabled, child. I don't know how I forgot the password, but okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna respond to these emails and then I'll come back and get y'all whenever we're about to dip out. All right, we're getting ready to leave. Is the lens dirty? And is. All right, we're getting ready to head out. I changed my clothes really fast. It doesn't really, it's not a vibe, but <laughs> um, I couldn't find my brown little joggers that I have from Skim, so I just put on a white t-shirt and then, yeah, we're just gonna head out. I feel like I can't even really wear these now. I need to get a new pair of sunglasses. Okay, let's go to the mall. We're gonna hit Zara, Sephora, see what we can find. And then hopefully get back quick. I don't want to be there all day. I want to be there for like an hour tops. And then come home before I pick up the kids. So we can make dinner and have everything ready. My pokor. <laughs> Whew! Oh, I think I figured out what I'm going to do about 
uh, my car too. I can't, can I put y'all right here really fast? I really just need to put my seatbelt on. I'm not gonna be um, talking while I'm driving, but <clears throat> let me make sure I have everything that I need real fast. Okay, I need to put, did I bring it in here? I'm trying to charge my little camera while, um, oh my gosh, no way. Oh, I was gonna say, I know that this car ain't that damn old. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't have no USB port in here. I haven't drove this car in so long. But anyways, I think I know what I'm gonna do with my um, car, uh, or about the Or I know what I'm gonna do about the range. I am going to basically let it lie for now. I'm gonna pray on it and see what Jesus want me to do. But I'm gonna trade this car in because this is like um, my old car, which is a Honda Accord. And I'm gonna, um, uh, what was I gonna say? I'm gonna, um, sorry y'all, it's hot. Let me turn the air on. I'm going to trade this car in for a lease. I don't know exactly what other kind of car I want right now. Um, so me and Aaron are going to just try and talk about it. But I can't do anything until I close on my house because it would mess with my credit, which I can't do in the middle process of like buying a house and closing. So probably in July, because June's just going to be really busy. So unless we like slide it in there somehow, we'll probably get, I'll probably trade this car in for a lease in July and then figure out what I want to do as far as the range because honestly a Land Rover is just not really reliable and while I do love my car I would rather lease the same type of car that I already have from Land Rover so I don't have to worry about the maintenance because I do love my range um and then I can either sell it as it is or whatever but I'm just going to figure it out from there but I do just want to be in a lease so that way I don't really have to worry about the maintenance as much um because I'm going to be out money regardless with that car so yeah that's what I think I'm gonna do. So I'll just give you, I was just giving you a little update, but oh, is this charging? It's not even charging. Are you shitting me? Freak. Freak, freak, freak. Dang. Okay, well, I have some battery left on it, but it's like 40 something percent. So we're gonna be in there and be out real quick, but I'll see y'all when we get in the mall. <laughs> show your girl if i get enough drinks i can get sturdy in the club quit playing with me ever since i went to punta cana and we was outside oh yeah 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 i'm i'm, I'm killing them i'm killing them but okay let's listen to this it's the last song because my camera says it's overheating Bring me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. Spending 500 before I ever trap you. They thought I was from Atlanta to LA, the only time I'm back and forth. Cheap niggas make you pee, rich niggas get you both. Let me pop out. Lay the club, sloppy drunk, come home and get my rocks out. I ain't smoking no more salute, bitch, I'm smoking on you. With your bestie in the back and I'm smoking on too. Huh. Got so many chains on, I can't even see my throat. These hoes don't do enough, that's why I always do the most. That bitch made some pages just to sub me, but I blocked them all. Just like they career. What they got on me, bodies in a couple years. I ain't done it out. A couple years and a couple bodies? What'd she say? Yeah. Quit fucking playing with her. All right, we're here. We at the mall. Listen, and one thing about me, if I didn't have a parking spot right here, I will valet this. I don't care what kind of car I drive, baby. Valet ain't even that expensive. Valet like $12. Oh, yep, I'm valeting everywhere I go. If, oh, these people is some whores. You know, damn well, it was not enough room for your car right there. Yeah, I'm sorry about you. Parking right here. Thank you. All right, gotta go bye bye. See you in the mall. <laughs> uh, 
Huh? Yeah, because I need to grab them some stuff and then what else did I come here for? I came here for oh. Okay, yeah, I wanted to smell the smell the Sunday. Thank you. Ooh, can I smell the the Sundays? Maybe that's the right one. Yeah. Okay, I only came in here for one thing. They never have this in stock. I do not know this somewhere at all. Well, I need to find the boys some little outfits for church. Oh, look, they got a blue. What is this? 12 to 18 months? I don't know if I should get Judah 12 to 18 or 18 to 24. There's Carter size. Uh, of course. Oh, uh, hopefully they have Carson size. Nope. Oh, that'd be burning me up. I need everybody to have the same thing. I just need them some like more little like church shirts. So I'm getting these blue ones. <laughs> okay. Okay. They just need something to wear real quick. Two to three, three to four. They gonna be a little oversized, but that's all right. <laughs> this little outfit right here is cute too. I like this better than the blue, to be honest. Okay, let me see. This little shirt is cute too. Zara has so much cute shit. Zara with the self checkout. That is lit. This is gonna work. I'm trying to use Aaron's card, but it's an old ass BOA card. All right, we are back from the mall, so I'm gonna do a little haul of everything that I got. I had to put my camera down while I was in Zara because my hands were full. And I asked him, can I leave it at the front? And it was like, no. I was like, mm, you're being weird to me, but okay. Anyways, I got myself something. I don't know if I like it or not. I probably should have tried it on, but it's just like this. I don't know. I was, it's giving like, I can wear this to church. Like it's a church dress. It's very long. <laughs> I don't know. I could put like a slip under it, but I need something else to wear to church besides jeans. We do not want to hear from the audience. This is not a live audience right now. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm on the phone with my friend, but I told her she had to mute herself, but I'm also showing her the haul, and she's telling me I look, that dress is palm colored. Anyways, I got my birthday gift in Sephora. It was the little glow recipe toner and niacinamide, which I actually used to like this when I would use it, so maybe I'll start using it again. And then I've been needing this, okay? I decided I wasn't gonna get lip filler, but I love this as like an alternative because it really does plump my lips up, and I use it like every day. And this time, I got the Extreme. So we gonna see what they do, what they do, what they do. <clears throat> All right, moving on to the kids' clothes. Okay, my friend was telling me I need to stop buying them all matching clothes, and I just need to match the colors, and that's more aesthetic than just put them in the exact same thing. But I, 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 I only did one outfit like this this time. I don't have the mental capacity for all of that yet. So they got white shirts. They got. I was just looking for church stuff mostly. Cause they not wearing this stuff out the house. This was expensive, okay? And then I got them some white pants. It's kind of out of order. Oh, I only got one white shirt. Cause I think one or two, Mello already has one. They all have them, but they had like got stains on them. So I got some new ones. But anyways, yeah, I got these little white shorts. Whew. If you ever want to think about having three kids, just go on Zara and total up three things of each thing. And then, and then see if you still want to have three kids. <laughs> Cause it is high, baby. Okay, 
but Loki, I don't know if they was having a sale or what because they do have these like stickers on here over the original price i wonder what the original price was because when i got my total back i was really expecting it to be way more than it came out to no it don't have a different price on there so i don't know but i got them these blue shirts for church just to throw a little color in there i want to find some stuff that also matches this because i like matching them when we go to church but they're like little blue collar shirts and then oh these are the pants i got to them to wear with the white shirts i think these are cute it looked cute when the when it was up on the hanger so i think it'll be cute on the boys but it's all like very um what is the word it's not well it is thin but it's like summer material because it's not like thick heavy pants so i'm like they can wear these to church i got like three church outfits and then i got them some new jeans even though they really didn't need jeans but it was the way they had the shirt and the jeans together on the mannequin i was like i need that and i got these shirts to match with the jeans they're like these orange shirts that just say los angeles on them but when i seen it on the thing i was like i'm envisioning the kids in these like going to the zoo or something like it was just giving summertime vibes bright colors maybe a little airport fit if we decide to go on another trip with them it's cute so i got three of those their jeans and i bought everything like a little bit bigger because the way they be trying to grow out of stuff after i right after i buy it i was like oh no not today so i sized them up a little bit on some stuff okay this is the outfit that i was able to like monochromatically match but everything is not matchy matchy so let's see it's green which i actually think is cute i'm like really into like the sage green like color right now but anyways okay this will be carter's outfit it's like a little shirt with these green shorts can y'all see it okay just hold on hold on this is like my least favorite one but it was still cute like it matches and this they had that in carter's size so <clears throat> or carson that's carson's i think i don't know hold on let me look this is mellow's for sure it's like this little white shirt with the green stripes and then it goes like little overalls over it so it's also matching with you with the green thought that was cute and then this is the last outfit okay this is carter's so the other one was carson's it's like these green sage pastel pants and then it's a green and white striped shirt so like they'll all be matching colors but they won't be actually matching which i do think is cute but sometimes that'd be hard for me i'd be like no i just get them all the same thing you did <laughs> thanks now i gotta find something to match match them <laughs> i need to go on i need to start shopping for some more summer stuff for myself because everything i got right now is like super tight and the booty is out and that's just <sighs> i need to get some old, some more summer mom mom clothes but i looked in zara and i remember peyton saying that the zara that's in north park is more like business and like fancier clothes and that you know if i'm looking for something more casual then you should go to like the zara and the galleria and i was at north park mall so i'm gonna probably try zara or maybe just get online and shop anyways we also got amazon packages <clears throat> we got some, oh, listerine um i've been ordering all my stuff off amazon because i didn't know if we were boycotting target or not and then i went and i did a little bit more research and i feel like it's very controversial like if you like with the whole situation that's going on but also i did just want to say like your girl is not homophobic i think some people when they heard me say the word gay when i was talking about it last week they thought i was like anti or something but no i was more the giving the the satanic vibes but they just so happened to be like that company is also like an lgbt cute company but i'm definitely not homophobic so i did not want to give that vibe but some people were upset about that so i granted i could see how it would be like offensive if that's what you were taking it as but that's not like that's not what i meant so yeah anyway yeah i don't really know how i feel about the whole situation with the target thing i've like looked into it a little bit but not like too too much but i don't personally take my kids into target to go shopping anyways so my kids are not really going to be seeing and even if they did like i don't i really I, I don't know i don't know so yeah the only thing that i do say like no like the satan stuff like why they collabed with that brand i don't know like that's very weird to me but anyways <clears throat> 
on with the Amazon haul. I read up on this. I'm actually going to go upstairs before I leave and give you guys like an empties for the last like couple months of all the products I've emptied out. Um, but I did re up on this because I emptied it out and I like it because it's like a cheap hyaluronic acid serum for your scalp. So it keeps my scalp real hydrated while I have the braids in so my like I don't get like, you know, flakes. <clears throat> and then I also got. Maybe I can club host in Houston. Y'all want to meet me in Houston? Y'all want to go out with me to the club? I could maybe do that at one of the clubs in Houston. That would be fun. And then about oh yeah, my birthday is going to be one for the books. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. <clears throat> I think that would be fun. Cause like everybody always asks me like when am I gonna do a meet and greet? But I'm like, I don't wanna I don't know what type of meet and greet I wanna do. Cause like also like I don't know if the first time I meet people out, like y'all see me, but like if I'm you have to like match just match the vibe of the environment. Like if you're not somebody who likes to see people drunk and you know like wilding, then you probably wouldn't want to meet me in that environment. Cause it's gonna be my birthday and I'm gonna be teed. I'm gonna be teed up. Like um it, it's it's gonna be lit. You know? So yeah, I'm saying, you want to come have a good time? We're going to pop bottles. It's going to be rich niggas. <laughs> ah! But yeah. I can probably, I can definitely get, we can definitely get some party promoters out there to say, hey, you know. I could hey, definitely host out there for sure. For sure. Like, we can definitely get that. I could probably host at camp. I could probably host a lot of places. But I've been hearing people say not to go there. Oh, really? I went to, we went to camp last year for my friend's birthday and it was cool. There wasn't nobody there when we went like a um like an artist or anything but or you should tell all your Houston followers to give you some good um, recommendations. Recommendations. They said, well, you know, well, one of Aaron's friends, little cousin goes to PV and she said space has been popping. She said space is cool. Okay. But what, okay. what about you want to go to a strip club? I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Put it on the flow. Anyways, I'd be loud. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna get a videographer and everything. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be lit. Okay. But alright, moving on. We're still in mommy mode for the time being. This is the um soap that I've been using in the shower as like my oil body cleanser to like get off all like the dirt and sweat and everything at the end of the day. And I really like this. So I repurchased it. I finished this entire bottle. That's saying a lot. I usually don't finish a whole bottle of body soap before I be on to the next. So love this. I think that's everything. I have a couple more Amazon packages and then for some reason they wouldn't deliver my AirPods, uh, like the pros, to my house. So I have to go pick them up from an Amazon hub, but they did get delivered. So I'm gonna go do that before I pick the kids up from school. What time is it? It's 1.30. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did yesterday. Um, cook dinner before the kids get here. Well, I, and I have leftover pasta, so I don't know. I could just have them do the leftover pasta, but I feel like if I don't cook the food, then it's not going to get cooked. So I might as well just cook it. And then if they want to eat extra leftovers or have pasta, then cool. But I don't want to waste the food. And our next um, our next HelloFresh delivery is coming on Sunday. So, yeah, I'm excited for those meals that I picked out too personally. But our next meal that we have, I don't know if I want to do, I think I'm going to probably do like, I might cook the burgers tomorrow because you can take food into Hawaiian Falls. So I think we're going to go to Hawaiian Falls tomorrow and we could take the burgers to the park and then eat the burgers there. I mean, it really don't matter. Like, I'm, I don't know. I was thinking like pack a lunch because I don't know if we're going to be there all day. Like if we're going to get a cabana or we're just going to like go for a couple hours or what. So I was going to make this tonight because this actually looks low key. Fa. It's just broccoli and then the crispy cheddar chicken. Every time I'd be making the chicken breast, like and following the recipe off HelloFresh, that would be delicious. But the cook time is like 40 minutes and I'm good on time today, so I don't really gotta rush, but I'm gonna go put like this stuff up from the kitchen and then take y'all upstairs so I can show y'all like basically what I emptied out this month. It's really not a lot and I gotta like search for some stuff cause I don't know where everything's at, but. And then we'll come back down and we'll cook this and yeah i'm interested to see how extreme this is 
Should we put this on and see how much my lips plump up? I thought they came in different colors, but when I was looking, they I didn't see anything. You just have to be careful. Like, I do not... Hold on. What'd you say? No, I got I got the I got the glow recipe for free. I only spent six dollars in Sephora. What? Exactly. Exactly. I had ten dollars off because I have a whole bunch of points with my like Rouge member, and then I got this for free for my birthday, and then it was ten dollars off, sixteen dollars. So I spent six dollars and fifty cents. I said that is the least amount of money I've ever spent in Sephora in my life. That made you almost want to go back again, huh? No, I didn't like. I don't need shit up in here. I got everything that I like out of Sephora because I'm not like a makeup girly, so I don't really like yeah. every single body wash and body mist they got in there. Oh, I got that. This is a lip plumper. But you got to be careful not to get it on the outside of your lips, so I'm trying to look on the... Because it'll make your skin red, or at least mine. And now we wait. Oh, it's already tingling. I got the extreme lip plumper. I love my lips being just, but no filler. They're tingling. Let me take a picture of them, hold on, before they um, get too full. Too full. All right, let's put this stuff up. I haven't drank water or ate. I haven't ate anything all day, but you're awake. We're talking about the DC Young Fly baby mom situation and all my friends literally texted me and was like so you still gonna get a tummy tuck and yeah, i was I text you, but I didn't be that friend. and i was like nah and then i'm like bro she just said it in this vlog too just go to the fucking gym get you a waist trainer and baby you're gonna be yo um i'm still gonna get wake lipo i'm gonna maybe maybe if i get the confidence up to insert some pictures but i think like when you guys see me like in clothes when i'm naked and i don't have certain things constricting me it's not like it looks horrible but it's just like my stomach when i like crouch over oh it's giving it's 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 not the, it's it's not the vibes like mm -mm, no so i did submit a consultation to do wake lipo which my brother has done before and he said it's like really easy and you stay awake and yeah, but I really wasn't gonna talk about it until I actually decided I'm gonna do it because I have to fly to California if I wanna do it. So, <clears throat> anywho, does this count as an empty? Okay. All right. So I only got like a couple of things. Um, like I told y'all, I emptied out this. I don't know if this considered an empty, but it's like at the last nub, the Dr. Ronner's Peppermint Castile Soap. Still using that. Love that. Way St. Bart's. Clean this out again for the thousandth time. Pureology. I've emptied out the shampoo and the conditioner. I really like Pureology, but I think I actually want to try Amika. So the next time like, I take down my braids and stuff, I'll probably try Amika because I've never tried that brand, but I hear really good things about it. Also, my lips are like red. I don't really like that. But anyways, uh, the Fenty Cherry Lip Oil. Cleared it um so i think this time i'm gonna be one of the girls and i'm gonna try the dior lip oil i'm gonna see if it's worth the hype i know it's expensive but you know you gotta try it one time see if it's worth it or not you know what i'm saying but i finished out the cherry lip balm from fendi and i thoroughly enjoyed it i don't know if it's just the smell i'm addicted to like if i actually really like the gloss but it smells fire so that's all i needed to know and then I never ended up finishing this. This is the Target Cremo and it's the silver and silver water and birch. And it's supposed to be like a dupe for like a uh, Boreo. And it does, it smells good when it's coming out the bottle, but for some reason I just didn't like it on me and when I was in the shower. So I've been using it on the boys. So, but um, yeah, it's like halfway gone. I used a pretty, it does a layered scent of all this your wash i don't know it smells really good in the bottle initially and it reminds me of gypsy water which is the perfume i'm wearing today so that's why i liked it but i just don't really enjoy it in the shower that much i don't know i don't know so yeah i think that's everything that i had as far as empties oh i don't know if i ended up telling y'all in another video i did end up repurchasing tatcha i finished out one full bottle of this so 
for now it's cool i don't know if it's like really making a huge difference in like just like the overall like appearance of my skin or if that's more just like my retinol i just feel like it's a good cleanser that like didn't break me out but it also isn't really doing anything i don't know and it is expensive so i might switch to something else but we'll see i'm actually reaching more so for the enzyme powder then I have the cream as of late, but I'm still kind of just like rotating the two or using them as a double cleanse as needed. So, okay, anyways, let's go cook our food so that we can leave, go get the kids and get our little air pot, air, air pods and stuff. So, Lego, I also need to eat because I haven't eaten today or drinking water. All right, let us cook this chicken. The instructions say we got to prep everything first. Coat the chicken, roast the broccoli. Oh, I'm not gonna cook my potatoes in bacon, but that's kind of a cool idea that they did that. Mashed potatoes serve. All right, let's do it. I'm feeding myself. I'm gonna cut over here by the trash. That way I can dump everything in the trash after I cut it up. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing. When I'm kissing, what I'm missing, won't you listen? Brown Sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. I don't know how to be. Oh, I just got back from picking the boys up from school. We went to the park for like an hour. We stayed there for a long time today. But the splash pad by our house is on. So we're about to go to the splash pad, but I'm letting the kids grab their water guns and their um their water guns and a towel and they're just gonna go play in the stuff they already have on from school buy me some water real bad and i got a pee pee fill up the baby's bottle they're gonna be nice and tired Something smells. I need to take the trash out or something. All right, I got my little camera or my phone, so I'll insert a little some clips. But we about to go. This is the end of the vlog. So I'll see y'all next.